Impact segment tonight, as we reported, most of the polls have Hillary Clinton beating Donald Trump, in some cases handily, but not the Rasmussen. There, Trump has been mostly ahead over the months, although Mrs. Clinton is now drawn into a tie with the margin of error. We also are following Trump speaking in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We'll put up a split screen so you can see he's got uh, a nice, pretty little girl there he's talking to. There he is. And if he um, gets back on policy, he's, uh, he's got a five-point ethic plan that he's talking about. We'll take a little bit of that. But first, here is Amy Holmes in the studio, analyzes politics for Rasmussen. So your poll has been more friendly to Trump than the others. Why? It has been sometimes, sometimes not. In fact, we've had Hillary ahead by a couple of points since August pretty consistently. Uh, but you could say every poll has different methodology. We do, we look at three days in succession, yeah. 500 people new each night, mm -hmm. and we have it broken down 50% male, 50% female. And that's nationwide. And that's nationwide. It's a national poll. And it's also a four way race that okay. we're always looking and at. And that's the four way race is the only way you have to do it. Right. But today you had Clinton up by two, which we is did. a statistical tie. It's a tie. It is. If yeah. you look within the margin of error. Right. But if you look at, at CBS and NBC, mm -hmm. NBC's got uh, Clinton up by 11, CBS 9. That's right. a big difference. It is a difference, and they also have a margin of error. But if you look at the trend lines, the polls tend to go in the same direction. So, for example, we had Hillary up, you know, by a couple of points. Uh, then we had the big Access Hollywood story, and that was like dropping a grenade into the Trump campaign. And then we had her seven points ahead of Mr. Trump, which is well beyond the margin of right. error. Then you have the debate and the folks, you know, settling in their impressions of that and Trump started to creep up. But then, of course, more revelations. Something that we're finding at Rasmussen that is different in this election cycle is how sensitive voters are to headlines. Mm -hmm. And the headlines have not been great for Mr. Trump. So people are paying attention. Very close attention. And that raises a lot of questions about the power of the media. Sure. What headlines they choose and how those drive voters. And the media knows the it. Absolutely. The media absolutely knows it. And uh, I'm sure that in the next three weeks we're going to see on both sides mainly Trump.